Hey guys! I recently signed up to do Weight Watchers, which is not something I've ever considered doing or something I've looked into. Uh, this is sort of my first time really getting information about it and signing up and trying any of the, um, I guess they call it the plan. So uh, it's it's been interesting. I think today is like day five or so. My weigh-in day is a Thursday because I started on a Thursday. Um, that's fine. Thursday, Friday is kind of ideal because then if I eat too much on the weekend I can recover at the start of the week before the next weigh-in. So um, I've got um, initially I'm just trying to lose from my initial starting weight um, I'm just trying to lose about six kilos and then that will put me to the weight that I was last year um, about the same time last year I was actually uh, dieting pretty successfully last year and exercising quite a lot um, but I got um, I started getting a bit sick like I started getting pretty bad heartburn uh, which is kind of, uh, not heartburn, sorry, reflux, which kind of turned into like, um, like a long-term thing, so now I'm on medication for it, and I've gotten to the point where I'm really stable, because before I would eat anything, or even just bending forward to like tie my shoes or something, and I would throw up in my mouth, which is really disgusting, um, trust me, and I couldn't sleep at all, I had to sleep basically sitting upright, and that was really horrible, so... Um, since I've been on medication for it, I think this is my third course of medication and I'm weaning off it again. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's kind of a little bit more manageable now and I know when I need to go get medication and when it's okay to stay off it for a little while and that sort of thing. And, um, I've also figured out kind of what my triggers are. Uh, in particular, it's like overloading on carbs, so like eating too much rice, which is one of the main issues I have anyway. Um, rice is actually a pretty big um, trigger for reflux for me. So, but that's it's more a matter of overeating rice rather than just rice by itself. So, if I don't eat very much rice, which doesn't happen too often, um, then I'm okay. <laughs> but if I eat more than like a cup of rice, which is like one or two serves of rice, then um, it gets pretty bad pretty quickly even when I am on medication so um, basically what I'm trying to say is um, I'm I know how to lose weight I know how to exercise and I know how to diet uh, for me it's just there's no accountability so um, and what I tend to do is lose like a good amount of weight like 10 kilos in a few months successfully and then I stall and once I stall I get really really uh, what's the word like not depressed but like I lose hope like I like I just don't think it's worth it because the scale isn't moving or I don't see any non-scale gains or anything like that um, so this is and so because of joining Weight Watchers it's a really really big community and everyone is really supportive so what I'm hoping is that this time I have the accountability factor where I have people I can talk to as well, a community, and I'm just doing it online. I'm not going to any meetings or anything. Um, it is quite expensive. So it's, I think, I am I just started on a three-month plan because I want to see, you know, if it's, if it works for me. So far it's working for me. But three months was... An upfront cost of eighty-seven dollars, which is, um, and and that was like, I think that doesn't include like a joining fee, which is about twenty bucks, which I didn't have to pay because I got the three-month deal. If you go on like a twelve-month deal, I think, or a six-month deal, you have to pay up a joining cost as well. So I don't really know how that works exactly. I haven't done a lot of research on the other um, the other joining options. So, um, yeah, so first I'm just going to try lose the initial six, six 
kilos and I've given myself like the three months to do it I'm in no hurry oh and health wise I'm actually uh, for my for my weight I'm actually surprisingly healthy the issues um, the only issue physical issue I guess uh, from having put on a lot of weight since I was sort of a teenager is probably reflux and to be honest we're not sure the doctor isn't sure if that's a weight issue although he says um, it will probably get better as I lose weight and it will get worse if I gain weight but he doesn't he said it's not necessarily a, a symptom of gaining weight if that makes sense like you can be skinny and still have reflux um, and you can be fat and have reflux like that sort of thing so um, like I kind of think that the reflux is probably a bit of a stress issue um, it, it does tend to peak around exam time for me so like the last three courses of medication I had to get I think was at, at exam time so it's probably that <laughs> but um you know I lead a uh, like 95% non-stressful life so hopefully I can kind of start to manage my stress levels a bit better to not have those issues yeah anyway so all my bloods are completely in the healthy zone I do have a few health issues from before I gained weight um, including things like that. I have a hip problem there's some uh, I guess some joint issues in my hip um, with the cartilage and like some spurs and stuff like that so that's been kind of an ongoing thing um, it's completely manageable it's only really an issue if I uh, like hiking is fine for example where you're going up and down terrain and stuff like that that's all fine but if I go walking on a flat surface um, at a fast pace for me for about three and a half kilometers around that mark my hip starts to really hurt and it's kind of a strange pain like it's uh, I don't know there's a that's a word for what it's called but um, anyway so uh, it quite discourages me from walking long distances but I try to obviously do it anyway but it's not something you can push past like if you keep walking it doesn't get better it gets worse and if you you know push yourself hard and go the next day it gets worse like once it once it starts getting sore I need to not um, I need to not make it worse otherwise it the recovery rate is a lot longer I think um, when it initially started about three years ago there was a point where I was on crutches um, for a, a couple of weeks I think and that was really tough uh, so I don't want to go back to that point again I was on a lot of medication and crutches and it, it wasn't fun so uh, yeah what else um, I, yeah, so I just initially, I initially just want to lose that first six kilos to take me back to my weight, which was last year's weight. That's going to be my first goal. Um, I would like to get that happening, um, before the end of my first three months with the Weight Watchers, just because it would be nice to see something significant but I'm not going to beat myself off if it doesn't happen um, this is not a do it or die sort of situation for me it's completely you know why not give it a try see how it goes and I've got to say the support that I've been getting on connect which is the Weight Watchers um, kind of like chat forum app has been really great it's just you know you get a whole lot of comments from people you don't know and they'll just say little things like, you know, good job or keep it up, you're doing fine. And, you know, even just seeing that can make you feel really positive. So, yeah. Uh, what else? <clears throat> okay. Um, 
I can't think of anything else to say at the moment. So I am going to probably just show you the process of kind of what I've got going on, I think. Um, I'll just show you things like what I'm eating and what I'm buying, um, what I'm cooking, and that sort of thing. Um, I will be... These videos will basically be replacing like our grocery hauls and our what's for lunch and dinner because it all kind of combines into one thing which is the Weight Watchers, I guess the lifestyle. <clears throat> so... <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, so to wrap that up, um, probably more than I needed to say but... It is, when I post this, it will be, oh my god, she's snorkeling. Tilly, I'm filming. <laughs> when I post this, it will be, uh, I guess, the start of week two. So I'll probably post this on, um the Friday or the on the weekend if I don't have time to edit it beforehand. Uh, yeah, so if any of you watching are on Weight Watchers, if you are on Weight Watchers Online and you're using Connect, um, I will put my uh, Weight Watchers handle below on the screen somewhere and feel free to follow me and I'll follow you back. Um, I love making friends on there and chatting to people and I'm also on Instagram with the same user handle so I'm posting uh, my Weight Watchers stuff on there. What is the main reason for wanting to lose weight? To fit into small clothes. How often do you eat fruit? Um, most days. Vegetables, uh, most days, chips, some days, takeaway, uh, takeaway is rarely, dessert, some days, sweet drinks such as soft drink or juice. Mm, I'll say rarely. Zero kilojoule drinks such as water and herbal teas. Every day. <laughs> yes, I drink water every day. What kind of meals do you normally eat? Uh, I mostly eat home cooked meals, I mostly eat out, I mostly eat prepackaged or frozen meals. Mostly home cooked meals. How do you spend your time most days? Sit most days, I'm up and down on my feet, practically never sitting down. Uh, I'll say I sit most days. When it comes to activity, what are you most interested in? I'd like to increase my everyday activity. I'd like the ideas on workouts I can do at home. I'd like ideas on what I can do at the gym. I'd like to train for an event like a 5k. Um, I think I'd just like to increase my everyday activity. What time of day do you struggle with? <laughs> Morning. How often do you set aside me time? Eh, some days, most days. I say most days. Okay. Based on your age, height, weight, and gender, you have 30 daily smart points plus 42 <laughs> weekly smart points. Okay. Based on your age, height, weight, and gender, you have six fit points per day which equals to 40 fit points per week that's around minutes moderate okay not sure what's going on there okay here we go let's change the settings um okay so you can like change your objective um How you track swapping 
Okay, so not swapping. You earn your fit points, but not swap them for food. You swap your weekly smart points first. If those run out, you'll subtract from your own fit points. Swap my fit points first. You'll subtract from your own fit points if you exceed your daily smart. Fit points disappear at the end of the week. I think I'll not swap. So I don't really know what that means. Okay, so that nothing changed there. Um, activity. Oh, ooh, connect to a device or app. Goal: forty weekly fit points. Connect your device. Ooh, I can do this. I have a Garmin Vivo Fit. Oh, I better do this on my phone because my computer doesn't have Bluetooth, I think, that I know of. Okay, I will do that later. Um, what else? Okay, I'll change my way in day to Fridays. Oh, my healthy weight ranges. Alright, let's change my goal weight because apparently my goal weight that I chose is higher than my healthy weight range. So we'll just say the highest part of my healthy weight range is fine. Update. Uh, my profile. Update your profile. Oh, that's all the same. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and sync my vivo fit to the phone app um, okay cool so it tells you like what everything means down here um, and then Okay, and then it's just got some articles and stuff on working out and being happy, enjoying the seasons, 